Hello boys and girls and welcome to our children's devotion. I am very excited that you're joining me again for another inspiring story. Well, boys and girls, we're still continuing with our story of the first family. And just a small recap, Adam and Eve had eaten of the fruit from the forbidden tree. And when God asked them, Adam blamed Eve and Eve blamed the serpent. And we learned about the importance of taking responsibility or accountability for our faults and not to blame other people. Well, let's continue and hear what happens. God created Adam and Eve with good characters. They loved their God very much and they loved each other. After they ate the forbidden fruit, their character was stained by evil. That is why we feel sad, are disobedient, and behave badly. But God promised Adam and Eve that he would send a savior to earth. Jesus came to give us eternal life again. Jesus was obedient. Thanks to Jesus, everyone who loves him will be saved and will live with him forever. And it makes me think of a very common verse that we all know that's found in John 3 verse 16. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Boys and girls, I am so thankful that God gave us Jesus Christ because he takes away our sins and makes us pure, whiter than snow. So, boys and girls, what is our memory verse for today? Well, it's found in Romans 5 verse 19 and it says, Through the obedience of the one man, the many will be made righteous. And that is true, boys and girls. It is because of Jesus' obedience that we can all become righteous. And I'm so thankful to Jesus for coming on earth and dying for our sins. So, boys and girls, before we go, we are going to bow our heads, close our eyes, and put our hands together for a prayer. Thank you, dear God, for sending Jesus to this world. Amen. Well, thank you boys and girls for joining me again for another inspiring story. My prayer for you today is that you have learned that Jesus has paid it all for us. Jesus came and he died for our sins as he promised Adam and Eve in the beginning. So we know that our God is a God who fulfills his promises and he is a God who loves us so much that he wants us or he wants to see us living a life that is sinless because a sinless life is a happy life and it brings us closer to God.